Hello, welcome to Take Your Time. So uh, it's been long that I have actually published one video, and uh, this one uh, I promised way way back, but uh, due to some time constraints, I could not. I was not able to produce, you know, uh, complete this. So uh, okay. So today the discussion is going to be on health, and uh, let's just get started then. So the first thing is let's just quickly. Uh, just just give a round about that what are the things we are going to explore today the first thing is what is health this is something uh, that we will be first discussing then we will straight jump into the health annotations that are there like uh, uh, all the annotations that we need to you know uh, know and understand uh, in order to build a health app or an app which is which uses health as a, a dependency injection framework now uh, most of them uh, will be similar to dagger2 because hilt is none other than you know it's it's been a, an extension of dagger2 that's what i believe but uh, uh, the, the main agenda is that uh, slowly and steadily we will show a demo and uh, the demo will be uh, we'll be using the uh, previous app only that we developed with coroutines uh, uh, flow room database and all those things so we will be just migrating from uh, uh, from uh, from what you say from dependency injection standpoint to from dagger to to hilt and in order to do so the things that we require to understand those are the things uh, we will be discussing so first thing first what is hilt cool so uh, what it says hilt is built on top of dagger 2 and it gives us compile time correctness what dagger 2 also gives us and it's scalable so the next thing is abstraction and less boilerplate codes. So this is something was the very, uh, uh, very much the intention behind creating Hilt because uh, it, it, when uh, when Hilt was first uh, you know released, the 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 first uh, feed uh, you know the first thing that Google uh, developers uh, who were working on Hilt they uh, they told that uh, it was from a developer standpoint dagger 2 was very good it was it was working as expected it was providing solutions to every single problems but the thing is it's too complicated and sometimes it requires a lot of you know uh, initial level of uh, work or initial level of learning in order to build an app which uh, works with dagger 2 so that is why they wanted to build something which is very straightforward and you don't have to as a developer you don't have to do a lot of things most of the things will be managed by the framework itself and that is provided by abstraction so from us our point of view less boilerplate codes yeah so uh, how this thing comes up you know all of a sudden what is the magic behind it how how does it says that okay less boilerplate code so basically every single thing ev uh, like activity fragments and all those places and view models all those places where we require dependencies those will be provided out of the box by hilt so you don't have to write uh, a lot of components subcomponents and all those things in order to work with hilt so hilt uh, uh, manages all these things scoping scoping is also something uh, uh, that will be managed by hilt out of the box i mean it's it's not going they are not going to be managing but they will be giving us certain tools with which we can actually manage the scopes and it's very straightforward very easy and i was talking about view model so basically uh, uh, view model is something that we have used in the previous app to uh, put the business logics and we will be using the same thing but the thing is uh, with hilt it's not that view models and other stuffs or other jetpack jetpack components you will be having you know uh, uh, it's not that those are by default supported by hilt but yes hilt has uh, hilt team has worked towards it and they have introduced different set of libraries for us to work along with them and uh, those uh, uh, those libraries uh, those support of android x is already there like view models work manager navigation component you will be having all all, all those supports from hilt as different uh, libraries and we will be uh, seeing those things as i know and we will be working on the demo so the first so the second thing that comes up annotations okay so let's just quickly jump on them 
the first thing is hilt android app what is hilt android app annotation so it it's like uh, uh, you have your application class and the application class has to be annotated with hilt android app and this this annotation is uh, the initial it, it it signifies that okay you are saying to the application that okay i am going to use hilt as dependency injection uh, framework and what uh, what I am uh, what you are going to do is you are going to initiate all the process of injections going in the application uh, so a as and when you will be uh, annotating your application class with this Hilt will start building the dependency graph for you so this is how it looks uh, uh, the code snippet that you see okay the next one is Android entry points so this is something very uh, uh, you know it's 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 very good uh, not good it's it's very important for us to understand this thing android entry points so uh, what does what is this if you see the code snippet what i have done is in the main activity there is an activity and i have annotated that with android entry point and what does it mean it means that main activity is some place where i am going to inject my dependencies which we, which i will be providing from different set of modules that's what it says so in order for us to inject anything to uh, 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 not anything to uh, inject any dependency to any android components we, what we have to android components as in app components i was talking about like activity fragments uh, services and all those things if i am going to uh, introduce and inject any dependency there what i have to do i have to annotate that particular uh, uh, activity or fragment or service with android entry point now why android entry point what does it do why, how how then then what is the why why should i do it so basically the idea is once you do it uh, hilt will create uh, components associated to that uh, hilt will create dagger components associated to that particular activity once i uh, once i annotate this main activity with android entry point hilt will create the dagger components associated with main activity and how it works is once we will be going ahead and learning uh, about component hierarchy in Hilt, we will figure out that uh, once uh, act one activity is annotated with Android entry point and there is a component uh, created out of it, then on top of that there is application which comes inside hierarchy and from activity, uh, so application can be able to get the dependencies which are there and uh, which are there falling under application scope so we will be seeing that in the later slides so the next thing is module module is something we already know we have worked with dagger so we know module is some place where we are going to uh, write the definitions of how we are going to uh, provide our dependencies right and it, it's the same but yes there is one thing that is one extra annotation that you will be seeing inside module that is install in and it's a very important thing for us to understand with install in uh, so in this piece of code if you see app module that i have written that install in application component uh, class what it does is uh, as soon as i uh, annotate with application component so this particular uh, app module whatever uh, uh, dependencies that will be provided from this module will be there we will be available throughout the application life cycle so that does mean what application component is there will be other things like activity component fragment component uh, fragment view component and all together those stuffs those stuffs will come but this thing has to be uh, very clear in your mind that whatever uh, module we are going to write we have to annotate them with install in and pass a component to that and these components are already provided by hilt you don't have to do anything and uh, that you see inside that pro uh, there is a provide context uh, method that I have written and there uh, singleton is something that I have also uh, written there right so install in we have to pass with the component name but singleton that I have uh, written over there that is that is more of a scope uh, so this singleton means we already know singleton right it, it's it's the same uh, when I annotate with singleton that does mean that this is this particular uh, uh, so uh, so the context that will come out of it the same instance of context will be available throughout the app lifecycle right that is what singleton means and that is what uh, the, the, that is what it is so we will be learning about scopes and uh, uh, components in some time also in this in the later slides so the next one is install in so let's just 
understand install in in very detail right so it says to hilt that where this module will be available for example if we use application component then the dependencies provided from this module will be available throughout the app right that's what i have also told and by default all bindings in hilt are unscoped this is something you have to understand very clearly by default any binding that we are uh, having in hilt is unscoped we are not giving any scope that means that each time your app requests a binding it will provide a new instance so for that only to restrict that we provide different scopes right but uh, but have in mind that all the scoping that we do uh, hilt has to manage those instances uh, uh, in memory for that so so keep in mind all those things when you uh, declare something with some scope keep in mind that du duration of that scope the same instance has to be managed by hilt so uh, those things as a uh, developer you have to think in mind whenever you are building an app that which scope should i be using so uh, the hilt component that we have seen previously right that uh, uh, one module has to be annotated with install in this component so what is what are the components and uh, how uh, how they are the injector so if i sorry so if i just write that okay this is my module and this is annotated with the install in application component that does mean this is an injector for application throughout the application life cycle that will be available activity retained component is for view model activity component is for activity fragment component is for fragment view component is for view similarly service component is for service and all these things now uh, why acti what is the difference between activity retained component and activity component it's that activity retained component is something that will be uh, that is more of a uh, view model uh, uh, that comes from more of a view model understanding so it uh, survives this uh, configuration change and that is why whenever you know that this is some dependencies that i, I will be providing to view models i should keep it in active uh, the, the 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 module should be uh, in installed in activity retained component rather than activity component because if you have annotated that with activity component the problem is it won't survive the configuration changes but view model will be surviving and but the problem is the same uh, the same instances you won't be able to get so that is why uh, uh, you have to use activity retained component in those cases so these are the tweaks little bit tweaks you have to understand and uh, the final thing is here there is one more thing like these components what are their scopes and where they are created and where they are destroyed by the way all these things you can you will be able to find in um, uh, a google article way for hilt i just uh, copied from there and uh, you know we are discussing this so if it is a singleton component the scope is obviously singleton and it is created at the application on create and it is destroyed at the application on destroy so any uh, module you annotate with at uh, install in singleton component or sorry application component that does mean it is created at the application on create and it will be destroyed at the on destroy of the application activity retained component and activity component you can see that both of them are activity on create and activity de on destroy but i have told you that activity retained component will survive the configuration change then how how these two uh, are different even if if they are created and destroyed at the same position but thing um, you have to understand one thing activity retained component will be created at the activity on first activity on create and will be destroyed at the last activity and on destroy because in 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 case of configuration changes there will be uh, uh, there will be number of uh, on destroys for the activity and again on create will come up so at the first time when the on create will happen for an activity then activity retained component will be created and when the last time activity on destroy will happen activity retained component will be destroyed but for activity components it for every single time fragment component is for fragment on attach and on destroy and these scopes that you seeing those ha those are the scopes that you can define that if i know that this is let's suppose i i want to inject one uh, uh, one particular uh, retrofit instance to only fragments i don't want this to activity so it's better for me to ha install that module in fragment component and uh, give the scope to fragment scoped but the problem is any uh, uh, you so so uh, let's let's discuss the problem in the next slide 
okay so when we'll be discussing the component hierarchy we can discuss this thing what is the problem in that so if you see uh, the component hierarchy what does it mean uh, that it means that uh, this is the hierarchy hilt follows and it's uh, it, it's the same hierarchy of android components like first level is application then comes activity then comes your uh, activity and services then comes your fragments and then comes your views so uh, this is the same structure has been followed in hilt also but the thing is uh, any uh, component any particular component will be having uh, access to that component as well as the components which are uh, above in the hierarchy to that so what does i what do i mean is activity retained component can use application component as a dependency to activity retained component what do i mean is in application component if i have uh, any module which is installed in application component and i have uh, some uh, i have a few uh, what do you say i have a few dependencies which are coming from that module which is installed in application component then those uh, uh, those dependencies i can use in activity retained component as well so that's the beauty of hilt you don't have to do anything you don't have to add that uh, as okay activity retained component i have a dependency on uh, application component so this is a sub component and all these things you don't have to do anything the idea is activity retained component is below application component so anything that is defined in application component will be available to activity retained component and same goes for the rest ones also this is the beauty of hilt uh, now that is why you see that activity component ha can access application as well as activity fragment component can access application activity fragment view component can access application activity view and all these things so uh, that's it so uh, so what i the, the problem that i was uh, going uh, you know working at that time uh, uh, saying to that time that we, we we told that okay let's just jump to the next slide and discuss that the thing is if you have declared that okay i will be uh, I, I will use this retrofit only in fragments and you uh, and the module in which you pass that uh, retrofit instance you uh, you put that module install in in fragment component and you put that particular method as fragment scope then that particular retrofit instance will not be available to activities keep in mind will not be available to any any component which are over fragment component in the hierarchy you have to keep it in very uh, clear you have to be very clear on this okay so the next thing is view model inject so this is something i have added because we are gonna use it uh, in the uh, in the application that we have currently it's because we will be using the same application and we have a usage of view model there and view model is going uh, there there will be some dependencies that will be required in view model that is why i added this so the view model support is provided by here out of the box but not actually out of the box with certain uh, different libraries uh, that are going to be useful while you are using jetpack uh, so hilt actually supports work manager navigation and all stuffs uh, which are coming from jetpack so basically if, if we are going to use view model how we are going to do it the dependency is we have to add this uh, extra um, extra dependency apart from hilt dependencies and how we are going to use it it's very straightforward the thing is you have to uh, you you have to uh, you know uh, in your view, in view model you have to uh, add this annotation view model inject at the constructor level and pass anything that you want and keep in mind that uh, the dependencies that you will be passing that has to be available in view model that does mean either they have to be activity in activity retained component or application component so this is something you have to be very careful and the next thing that you have to do it's very straightforward you have to just get the view model by view models that's uh, that's it and your main activity has to be the android entry point so if you do this then you are sorted your view model will be having the dependencies passed to it very clearly okay so uh, for reference you can go ahead and jump to this uh, links 
actually uh, i i have also learned held from these links only but there is one thing that i forgot to mention uh, there is one video uh, from jetpack itself that came on that came very uh, you know uh, few days back only and there uh, the the thing that he uh, the the person has uh, shown us it's very very it, it's very well described you can learn hilt very easily from there there are a few other things like uh, uh, entry points not android entry points the entry point qualifier and all these things these are uh, these are things that you can actually learn even testing from uh, uh, from hilt standpoint how hilt helps hilt in multi modular apps and all these things uh, so if you want those uh, from me you can actually put a comment i can actually uh, have a, a separate video for those but yes uh, if you go ahead and uh, learn if you go ahead into particular this this particular link so if i just uh, let me just quickly go to that link if i just quickly go to this link uh, why it is not going let me just do it for you so just this is the link for you if you want anything to understand in hilt you can go ahead and go to this link and there are so many things for you to understand hilt is something that is going to be very useful and the next in the next video what we are going to do we are going to just uh, use the same app and migrate to hilt and see what are the things we have you we have changed in order to work or so so stay tuned for the next video and it's coming very soon thank you guys Take care. Bye.